Indiana BMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. When you are approaching an intersection, the best way to reduce your reaction time is to A. Cover the clutch and brake. B. Keep the clutch pulled in when not accelerating. C. Avoid using the highest gear. D. Avoid wearing a full face helmet. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When you are in a hazardous situation such as an intersection, the best way to reduce your reaction time is to cover the clutch and brake. Question 2. Because a motorcycle has a smaller profile than a car. A. Special lights are required. B. It is less visible. C. Shoulder checks are not required. D. It is faster. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. Because a motorcycle has a smaller profile than a car, it is less visible. Be careful when riding a motorcycle. Question 3. For the most stable riding, your knees and feet should be positioned. A. Against the gas tank and pointing down. B. Against the gas tank and firmly on the footrests. C. Away from the gas tank and firmly on the footrests. D. Away from the gas tank and pointing down. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. For the most stable riding, your knees should be positioned against the gas tank, and your feet should be placed firmly on the footrests. Question 4. Start your motorcycle with your right wrist. A. Flat B. Down C. Locked D up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Start your motorcycle with your right wrist flat to avoid using too much throttle accidentally. Question 5. If you lock the rear brake on a surface with good traction. A. Release the rear brake and use only the front brake. B. Release both brakes and coast to a stop. C. You should release the rear brake and reapply it. D. You can keep it locked until you come to a complete stop. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If you lock the rear wheel on a surface with good traction, you can keep it locked until you come to a complete stop. On the other hand, if you lock the front wheel, you should release the front brake immediately. Question 6. Which of the following statements about animals are correct? A. If you encounter a relatively large animal deer, elk, cattle on the road, brake and prepare to stop. B. If you are being chased by a dog, downshift and approach the animal slowly. As you approach it, Accelerate away and leave the animal behind. C. You should do everything you safely can to avoid hitting an animal. If you are in traff. C. However, remain in your lane. D. All of the above are correct. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. You should do everything you safely can to avoid hitting an animal. If you are in traff. C. However, remain in your lane. Hitting something small is less dangerous too than hitting something big, like a car. If you are being chased by a dog, downshift and approach the animal slowly. As you approach it, accelerate away and leave the animal behind. Don't kick at an animal. Keep control of your motorcycle. For larger animals deer, elk, cattle, brake and prepare to stop. They are unpredictable. Question 7. When riding at night, you can increase your safety by 
A. Wearing reflective clothing. B. Reducing your speed. C. Using your high beam. D. Doing all of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When riding at night, you can increase your safety by wearing reflective clothing, using your high beam, and reducing your speed. Question 8. Which is the best lane position for being seen by the driver of the vehicle ahead of you? A. Any. B. Right. C. Left. D. Center. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. To be seen by the driver of the vehicle ahead of you, you should ride in the center lane position. This will put your image in the middle of the vehicle's rearview mirror. Drivers tend to check their rearview mirror more often than their side mirrors. Question 9. What are two ways to avoid obstacles in your path? A. Sliding and swerving. B. Sliding and skidding. C. Stopping and swerving. D. Stopping and sliding. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Stopping and swerving are two ways to avoid obstacles in your path. Always brake before or after swerving, never while swerving. Question 10. The gear shift lever is located. A. By the left hand grip. B. In front of the left foot rest. C. By the right hand grip. D. In front of the right foot rest. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. The gear shift lever is located in front of the left foot rest. Question 11. When you are stopped at a stop sign, your motorcycle should remain in A. First gear B. Neutral C. Second gear D. Third gear 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When you are stopped at a stop sign your motorcycle should remain in first gear so that you can start off easily again. Question 12. Which of the following should be avoided when carrying cargo? A. Securing cargo with elastic cords. B. Securing cargo as low as possible. C. Fastening excess cargo to the sissy bar. D. Filling saddlebags evenly. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Fastening cargo to the sissy bar can make the motorcycle unstable because it raises the center of gravity. Keep cargo low and balanced for safety. Question 13. A motorcycle typically requires a. The same distance to stop as a car does. B. More room to operate safely than a car does. C. Less distance to stop than a car does. D. More distance to stop than a car does. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Motorcycles typically require the same distance to stop as cars do. Make sure to leave an adequate space cushion. Question 14. When you are preparing to pass a vehicle, you should ride in, fill in the blank, lane position. A. The right. B. Any. C. The left. D. The center. 5. 
four, three, two, one. Answer C. When you are preparing to pass a vehicle in front of you, you should ride in the left lane position. It helps you see beyond the vehicle in front of you and spot oncoming hazards. Question 15. If the throttle is stuck and twisting it back and forth does not free it, what should you do? A. Stop the motorcycle using the rear brake only. B. Operate the engine cutoff switch and pull in the clutch at the same time. C. Jump off the motorcycle. D. Pull in the clutch. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. If the throttle is stuck and twisting it back and forth does not free it, immediately operate the engine cutoff switch and pull in the clutch at the same time. This will cut power to the rear wheel. Question 16. When riding in the city, you should check for hazards at least. Fill in the blank. Ahead. A1 half block. B2 blocks. C1 block. D3 blocks. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. While riding in the city. You should check for hazards at least one half block ahead. Question 17. When stopping in a curb, what should you do? A. Lean over as much as possible. B. Straighten the motorcycle upright. C. Increase your speed before stopping. D. Grab the rear brake only. 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. Before stopping in a curb, you should try to straighten the motorcycle upright as much as possible. This is the safest way to stop. Question 18. When you load saddlebags, you should A. Not exceed 20 pounds per bag. B. Load them evenly with the same weight. C. Fill one completely before loading the other one. D. Fill both of them completely. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. When you load saddlebags, you should load them evenly with the same weight to keep the motorcycle balanced. Question 19. To turn your motorcycle, you should press on the hand grip in the direction of the turn end. A. Pull in the clutch. B. Lean in the direction of the turn. C. Lean opposite to the direction of the turn. D. Keep your body straight. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. To turn your motorcycle, you should press on the hand grip in the direction of the turn and lean in the direction of the turn. Question 20. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside, how should you position your motorcycle? A. Parallel to the roadside. B. With the rear tire off the road. C. At an angle. D. Perpendicular to the roadside. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside, you should position yourself at an angle so you can see clearly in both directions. Question 21. Use your feet to maintain balance by a. Keeping them on the footrests. B. Pointing your toes downward. C. Holding them away from the motorcycle. D. Skimming them above the ground. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Answer A. Use your feet to maintain balance by keeping them on the footrests. Question 22. When parked beside a curb, your motorcycle should be A. Lying on the curb B. Positioned at an angle with the rear wheel to the curb C. Facing the curb with the front wheel touching the curb D. Parallel to the curb 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. When parked beside a curb, your motorcycle should be positioned at an angle with the rear wheel to the curb. Note, some cities have ordinances that require motorcycles to park parallel to the curb. Question 23. Motorcycle cargo should NOT be secured with? A. Elastic cords B. Saddle banks C. Tank banks D. Rope 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Motorcycle cargo should NOT be secured with rope. Knots can come undone, or ropes can loosen. Question 24. If an unexpected obstacle requires you to swerve left, you should. A. Press the right hand grip. B. Apply the front brake. C. Press the left hand grip. D. Apply the rear brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. If an unexpected obstacle requires you to swerve left, you should press the left hand grip. This will cause the motorcycle to lean quickly to the left. Question 25. The fill in the blank break is more important because it fill in the blank. A rear is the emergency brake. B front is the emergency brake. C front provides 70% of the stopping power. D rear provides 70% of the stopping power. 5 4 3, 2, 1. Answer C. The front brake is more important because it provides 70% of the stopping power. However, you should always use both the front and rear brakes to stop or slow down. Question 26. When approaching a blind intersection with a stop line, you should stop. A. The stop line first, then edge forward. B. With the front wheel over the stop line. C. Where you have the most visibility. D. At the stop line only. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. You must stop at the stop line first. If it is difficult to see from there, you may edge forward until you can see clearly. Question 27. Why are motorcycle crashes common in curves? A. It is difficult to steer a motorcycle. B. A motorcyclist can't stay in one lane position while moving through a curve. C. Leaning in a curve causes a motorcycle to tip over. D. A motorcycle may run wide in a curve if the motorcyclist isn't careful. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Curves are a common place for motorcycle crashes because motorcycles tend to run wide in a curve and might end up in another lane if the motorcyclist is not careful. Question 28. What do gravel, lane markings, and road edges have in common? A. They are present on all roads. B. They provide poor traction for motorcycles. C. They are areas where motorcycles cannot ride. D. They are the safest places to ride. 5, 4, 3, 2, 
1. Enter B. Gravel, lane markings, and road edges all provide poor traction for motorcycles. Question 29. All of the following affect your blood alcohol concentration except A. How fast you drink B. The time of day C. Your weight D. The amount of alcohol you consume 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. The time of day does not affect your blood alcohol concentration. Alcohol can affect your writing abilities at any time. Question 30. How can you increase your visibility at blind intersections? A. Flash your brake light. B. Choose a lane position that lets you be seen as soon as possible. C. Stop beyond the stop line so you will be seen. D. Always ride in the center lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Increase your visibility at blind intersections by moving into a lane position that lets you be seen as soon as possible. Question 31. If there are two or more motorcyclists riding together, they should ride a single file, b in pairs, c in a staggered formation, d in a v formation. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer c. If there are two or more motorcyclists riding together, they should ride in a staggered formation. This allows the group to stay close together while maintaining a space cushion. Question 32. To increase your chances of being seen by another vehicle, you should A. Ride in areas where there are lots of motorcycles. B. Ride only during the day. C. Wear reflective clothing. D. Avoid riding in heavy traffic. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To increase your chances of being seen by another vehicle, you should wear reflective clothing. Question 33. When you are being passed on the left, which lane position should you ride in? A. Center. B. Right. C. Any. D. Left. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When another vehicle is passing you on the left, ride in the center lane position to keep away from the hazard. Riding in the right lane position could encourage the driver of that vehicle to move back into your lane too soon. Also, in the right lane position, you would have less room for error on your right side if you were hit by a blast of wind from the passing vehicle that affected your control. Question 34. Before each ride, you should adjust. A. Your seat. B. The clutch. C. The throttle. D. The side mirrors. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Before each ride, you should adjust the side mirrors. It can be dangerous to adjust them as you ride. Question 35. Which lane position S are safest for motorcycles? A. The center lane position is safest. B. The left and right lane positions are safest. C. The left lane position is safest. D. It depends on the situation. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. 
no one lane position is always the best for being seen and maintaining a space cushion. And no lane position need always be avoided. They all have their uses. An experienced rider changes lane positions as traffic conditions change. Question 36. During, fill in the blank, turns, you should lean your motorcycle while keeping your body straight. A slow, wide. B fast, wide. C fast, tight. D slow, tight. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. During slow, tight turns, you should lean your motorcycle while keeping your body straight. Question 37. If your motorcycle is not equipped with a windshield, you should. A. Have your motorcycle fitted with a windshield before you ride it. B. Ride only on paved roads. C. Avoid carrying passengers. D. Wear safety goggles or a face shield. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. This is a trick question. Both the rider and passenger if any should wear safety goggles or a face shield, whether or not the motorcycle is equipped with a windshield. A windshield is no substitute for a face shield or goggles. Windshields don't really protect your eyes from the wind. Question 38. Before you mount your motorcycle for a trip, you should check. A. The fluids. B. The signal lights. C. The tires. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. For safety, check the tires, clutch, throttle, and brakes before each ride. Also check the fluids, lights, mirrors, horn, and fuel supply valve. Question 39. The most effective braking method is to A. Use the front brake only. B. Use the rear brake only. C. Alternate between the rear brake and front brake. D. Use both the front and rear brakes at the same time. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. The most effective braking method is to use both the front and rear brakes at the same time. Question 40. Help other vehicle operators notice that you are slowing down by. A. Flashing your brake light. B. Using signal lights. C. Swerving from side to side. D. Beeping your horn. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Help other vehicle operators notice you are slowing down by flashing your brake light. Do this especially when you are slowing abruptly or in unusual areas. Question 41. When you ride in a group. A. Don't tailgate the rider in front of you. B. Ride in pairs whenever possible. C. Put the newest riders at the rear. D. Never ride in groups of more than three. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. When riding in a group, don't tailgate the rider in front of you or anyone else for that matter. Always maintain an adequate space cushion. If you would like to go faster, ride at the front of the group. Question 42. How can you increase your chances of being seen? A. Use your headlight. B. Wear bright clothing. C. Choose the best lane position. D. Do all of the above. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. 
Answer D. You can increase your chances of being seen by wearing bright clothing, choosing the best lane position, and using your headlight. Question 43. When braking on slippery surfaces, you should A. Use both brakes. B. Use the rear brake only. C. Coast and neutral. D. Use the front brake only. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When braking on slippery surfaces, you should use both brakes. It is always most effective to use both brakes. Question 44. If you think that another vehicle might try to share your lane, what should you do? A. Use AN signals. B. Swerve from side to side. C. Ride in the center lane position. D. Flash your brake light. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. If you think that another vehicle might try to share your lane, you should ride in the center lane position to deny that vehicle enough room. Question 45. To start your motorcycle on an upgrade, what should you do? A. Never try to start a motorcycle on an upgrade. B. Position yourself at a 90 degree angle against the curb. C. Use the rear brake to hold you until the engine takes hold. D. Start in second gear. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. When starting your motorcycle on an upgrade, use the rear brake to hold you until the engine takes hold. Question 46. The safest way to cross an obstacle is at a fill-in-the-blank angle. A 100 degree B 20 degree C 90 degree D 45 degree 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If an obstacle cannot be avoided and you must ride over it, approach it head-on that is, at a 90 degree angle. This will help keep your front wheel from deflecting off the obstacle. Question 47. What are the four steps in making a proper turn? A. Press, look, slow, roll. B. Slow, look, press, roll. C. Look, press, roll, slow. D. Slow, press, look, roll. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. To make a proper turn, you should slow down, look where you want to go, press the hand grip to lean in the direction you want to go, and roll on the throttle. Question 48. In any collision, you have a far better chance of avoiding serious injury when you wear A. A motorcycle safety helmet that is U.S. DOT compliant B. Protective clothing C. Face or eye protection D. All of the above 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. In any collision, you have a far better chance of avoiding serious injury when you wear on a motorcycle safety helmet that is U.S. DOT compliant. Two phase or eye protection. And three protective clothing such as a leather or long sleeve jacket, long, heavy pants over ankle boots, and full fingered leather gloves. Question 49. When making a normal turn, should the motorcycle rider lean? A. Yes, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. B. Yes, 
the rider should lean in the opposite direction. C. Yes, the rider should lean forward. D. No, the rider should not lean. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. During a normal turn, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. This helps maintain balance. Question 50. On a highway, you see other vehicles about to merge into your lane from an entrance ramp. What should you do? A. Move into another lane if one is open. B. Give them plenty of room. C. If you cannot change lanes, adjust your speed to open up space for the merging vehicles. D. Do all of the above. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Drivers on an entrance ramp may not see you on the highway. Give them plenty of room. Move into another lane if one is open. If you cannot change lanes, adjust your speed to open up space for the merging vehicles. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.